What up, YouTube? I'm back again. I guess for this daily dose of fuckery. But like I said, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get off this day because too many stupid people over here to deal with. Too many. But I just want to say this right quick. Oh, uh, Lamar Wills, you full of shit, bro. I was just in um this fuck nigga chat room maybe about 30 minutes ago. He was saying some stupid ass shit. And I said, Lamar, you full of shit. And then he gonna block me and say, show me how I'm full of shit. So I'm gonna show you. This nigga said that I'm so obsessed with Monty that I came on this show. And that I wanted to be friends again with him just to go against Monty. And that's a lie. Nigga, I called into your show, pussy. Because I was ready to cook your punk ass. And then, while you talking that Monty shit, nigga, by the time I called in... You had been going in on this nigga on Monty for like 45 minutes straight. You, you was. And then Chris called in and Chris started cooking his ass too. So you had two people cooking the um, the AIDS patient. And I joined in and I cooked his ass too. And I gave you a picture of this nigga Obama at a gay parade. So this nigga say I'm stalking Monty, y'all. I been sitting on that picture. You think that bitch ass nigga ain't got no pictures of me? Stupid bitch. So that's not no stalking bitch. You you were talking about Monty. Like I said, I was gonna call and cook your ass, but I just I just joined the party with what y'all was doing. So that's how you full of shit. But this is what I wanna talk about. This whole ass nigga on his channel telling people to quit hating off him. He trying to tell people how to grow in life. He trying to tell you how to grow on YouTube and grow in life. And he to my son. He he say we judging him because he on a whole nother level. What level is that? I don't get it. What level you on, nigga? This nigga say that he said that this sector's getting weaker. Which if it's getting uh weaker, that's cool. If it's getting weaker, let it get weaker, cause this sector is really uh full of shit anyway. But this nigga say this sector is getting weaker, but real game radio is growing. So a real game radio is growing, nigga. Won't you go and get that shit copyrighted, trademark? Won't you go and sign up, get your bidding license, all this good stuff. So a real game radio really growing, why are you begging for money? If you growing, your pockets should be growing also. If you growing, nigga, you should not be on YouTube begging. And you ain't just begging, nigga. You violent and aggressive with your begging. You the type of nigga on the street who, if, if a policeman saw you begging the way you begging, he'll, he'll, he'll lock you up. He'll lock you up for, for strong arm of robbery. So if real game radio is growing like you say, nigga. Quit begging for money. Quit begging because it's growing. For one, if you're at real game radio growing, people should just give you money. One thing I do know is about Tyreek Nasheed, bro, and Tommy, and the rest of them. They don't really have to ask for money. They don't really have to ask. The people just give it to them. They give it. The same way that Nunu ain't got to ask for that pussy. Michelle just give it. She just get it, pussy. He ain't really got to ask for that pussy. When Nunu get off work at night, or get off work in the evening, from working like a real man, Michelle just give him that pussy. He ain't got to ask her. He ain't got to yell. He ain't got to scream. He ain't got to cuss at that woman. When he come in there, when he, when he come in the door, she sucking through the jeans. She make them kids go in the room, go and watch cartoons while she take care of her man. And she would have done that for you, but you too fucking sorry to get a job. So now you, you can wait until it's too late, and now you want to get a job. And you on YouTube begging folks to give you money. You begging for a dollar, you begging for two dollars, you all uh, selling ranches, everything. But Real Game Radio growing. Real Game Radio is growing so fast that so you had to go get a fucking job. Had to get a fucking job, bro. So, that's how you feel the shit, bro. So, before you tell that lie on me, pussy, don't forget, I have a YouTube channel. That I, can go to, I can get on my own YouTube channel, and I can, I can talk about what really happened. So, that's what happened, nigga. You was talking about Monty. You was cooking Monty and his, and his daughter. And his fucking fat ass wife. So I joined in. So don't tell that lie and say I want to be your friend again just so we can cook money. I don't need your help to cook money. I don't even give a fuck about the nigga real talk. I don't watch none of his channels. 
I haven't watched a, I haven't watched a Monty video in I'm gonna say I probably almost six months. Whenever I do hear about him, if it's, it's through you, you will replay you you you've been replaying his videos every day. You replay this video today and yesterday, and you're gonna probably replay his video tomorrow. When I do hear about that pussy, somebody told me about it. But for the most part, I forget the nigga exists. I promise to God on my kids, I forget the nigga even exists. Now what y'all niggas do, you come to my comment section, you bring him up. You bring him up, or he'll come to my comment section himself trolling. And as soon as I address the nigga, oh, you stalking him. Man, what the fuck are y'all so fucking stupid, man? Y'all make me sick, bro. Y'all make me sick, real talk. Real talk, y'all y'all the dumbest niggas ever born. And also, for people who don't know, Theodore Duty is a homosexual. Beasley, you can get the fuck off my dick too, nigga. You old, broken ass, dusty ass. You an old, dusty ass nigga. Real talk. Quit acting like you rich, Beasley. That Benzo Beasley shit, we not, we not buying it. We not buying it. I think I'm gonna make an unlisted video showing y'all who don't know what Beasley look like, show y'all his face. When you when you look at Beasley, you can tell Beasley is lacking. The boy is lacking. Beasley grew up not getting no pussy. So he turned to being a homosexual because he wanted to be loved and touched. And they fucked him until he ended up uh, turning gay. And he started liking the shit. But Beasley, Beasley dick. Beasley only used dick to piss out of him. He don't fuck no pussy. Uh, he just piss out his dick. He fuck out his ass. Anyway, Beasley, quit stalking me, bro. All you do is fuck with young men, fucking with me. Nigga, I'm done, pussy. I ain't got no more talks with you, Beasley. Get the fuck off my dick, bitch. Quit acting like you rich. I don't believe you, Beasley. Not only do I not believe you not rich, even if you was rich, Beasley, I still wouldn't give a fuck. I'll talk to you just the way I'm talking to you. Because Richard Poe, nigga, you still a hoe, nigga.